Alright guys, we're going to be solving question 3 from the 8th chapter of the Bjorn Johnson textbook in engineering mechanics and in this one we need to determine whether the block is in equilibrium and find the magnitude and direction of the friction when our force B is 100 pounds. The way we're going to solve this question, we're going to start with the free body diagram and we're going to assume that the the block is in equilibrium at the first place. Before we start, we can call our X and Y in here. So let's just call this our X and call this our Y. So we have the 45 pounds force. We have the force P, which we know is 100 pounds. It makes 40 degrees with our X and Y that we define in this question. And we're gonna just assume one friction in this direction for now, if we get a negative sign later, that shows it's actually up the hill and our normal force is always in this direction perpendicular to the box and this is pretty much everything that we have for the free body diagram and as I said at the beginning we're going to assume that we are in equilibrium and if that's the case we have sum of all forces equals zero we are in 2d we have one equation for x so that x equals zero and we have the same thing for y so let's start with the f x let's see what we have so we have the force f acting on positive x-axis we have the x component of the 100 pounds which is this force in here so that would be a negative force so minus 100 pounds times cosine of 40 degrees and also we have the x component of 45 pounds this force in here and um, if we want to find that we know also this angle right here is 30 degrees and the reason is that uh, we previously uh, we talked about a trick in this channel a lot when we have two angles like this when each side is perpendicular to the, this to the other one these two are the same and here we have the same thing we have this one perpendicular to this and also this one perpendicular to this so we have these two which means these two angles are the same over 30 degrees so the x component of that one is the force that i showed in here is positive so plus 45 sine of 30 degrees and that's pretty much everything equals zero and we can find f in here which will be 100 cosine of 40 degrees minus 45 sine of 30 degrees. So basically I bring these two on the other side. Let's see what we get. So 100 cosine of 40 minus 45 sine of 30. This is gonna be 54 pound, 0.1 pound. No negative sign that shows the friction is actually in correct direction, but now we have to figure out the maximum of the friction just to compare with the friction that we found. If it's lower than that, that means that we are actually in equilibrium. But if our F is greater than maximum friction, that shows that the box is actually moving. But for that, we have the static coefficient times N. We have to figure out the normal force that we have. We have one more equation, sum of all forces in Y. We have N minus the y component of 100 pounds 100 sine of 40 and we also have the y component of 45 that one's downward to 45 cosine of 30 degrees equals zero so the end would be 100 sine of 40 plus 45 cosine of 30 degrees let's see what we get so that's going to give us 103.25 pounds and now we can find our maximum friction. So we have the static coefficient 0.4. So 0.4 times the N 103.25. So times 0.4, this is gonna give us 41.3 pounds. And that's the maximum friction. But if I look at our F, we'll see that our F is actually greater than Fx, our maximum friction, which means the box is actually moving. So in order to figure out if the box is moving upward or downward, 
uh, we know that friction is always in the opposite direction of the movement. So we figure out that our friction is actually in this direction, which shows that the box is actually moving up and the friction is against that movement. So that shows that our block moves up the hill. And if that's the case, as our friction now would be different, uh, we're going to have kinetic coefficients times our normal force. We have a kinetic coefficient 0.3 times our n would be the same. The normal force that we found in here, 103.25. Let's see what we get. So our friction would be actually 30.98 pounds. And as we figure out the direction was what we showed in here. So the angle that it makes would be this angle in here. And if we want to figure it out, uh, so we're talking about this angle, which is same as what we have in here. It's going to be 30 degrees. And that would be the final answer. The question asked for both magnitude and direction, which would be what we found in here. Hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.